Hey guys, this is Brian here. Just a very, very quick video to just talk about this brand new Adobe Premiere Pro version that was released about two days ago. So if you happen to be using Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud CC to edit your Osmo footage, you absolutely love these new changes. So you see that um, the new version is 2015.3. So if you're on Creative Cloud, it's an automatic update. You can get it immediately. So when you fire that up, you notice a brand new splash page with the Everest. Hint, hint. Everybody's going Everest these days. The first thing you notice is that this looks quite familiar. But the exciting changes start when you create a new project. So if I click Create New Project, you immediately notice that we always used to have general and then scratch disks but there's a new setting here called ingest settings and this is the bit that's really exciting for 4k workflow or even 6k or 8k or whatever however large files you are, you, are, you want to edit and i'll explain how this ingest settings uh, work so first of all i want to set up my project file so i'm just going to click create a new folder here let's just call it test this is what I always prefer to do. I always want my media and everything associated with the project to go into one folder so that I can move it around, drives, whatever I want, or archive it, and everything is there when I want to retrieve it. So if we go to the ingest set, so scratch disks, this is always for me, it's set as project, same as project, so I, nothing changes there, but the ingest settings. So when you click that, you get this drop down where you now have four options and I'll just walk you through these options. So the first option is copy. So this allows you to copy the media from any drive that you have to your project location. In, in, in my case, uh, is, you know, same as the project uh, folder. The second option is transcode. So this allows you to transcode your media into any one of these codecs and you can even add your own codec via the media encoder which works hand in hand with this new ingest settings here. The third option, which is where I start to get excited is the create proxies. So what this allows you to do is you can create very lightweight versions of your media. So if you've shot in 4K, you can create a proxy file, which is probably 10% the size and the kind of uh, resources that would be required to play back that file. So it's gonna play back smoothly, allowing you to edit really, really fast almost in real time. And that's the exciting thing about proxies. And all of this is gonna be happening in the background. You don't need to do anything as long as you've selected this setting. Um, the next option is to copy and create proxies. So here, what happens is when you choose this option, which is the one that I'm actually gonna to demonstrate to you. So first thing I want to choose the size of proxy that I want. So 1280 by 720 is fine. I was shooting in 4K. So this is going to be almost a 10%. I mean, it's going to reduce the size to almost 10% of the original 4K file. So that's going to work really, really nicely. You can also create your own um, presets of whatever, you know, resolution you want here, frame size you want. Um, I'm happy with 1280 by 720. And then you also get a bit of a summary of you know, what, what, what that will mean. But what my setting that I've chosen is any media that I bring into the project is gonna create a proxy of these dimensions automatically in the background. So let's see how that happens. So I click OK. So now the Adobe Premiere Pro is fired as usual. Now, all I have to do is insert my media card or my micro SD from the Osmo directly after shooting straight into the computer. All I have to do is locate the drive, locate the media that I want to import. So let's say I've just come back from shooting and I know um, just for the purpose of this demonstration, let me just pick these three files, click import. And the moment I do that, and this is where the magic starts to happen, Adobe Media Encoder automatically starts creating the proxies in the background. So these are the proxies of the three files that I've created and each one of them is going to be stored in the same project folder that I've selected. All of this is happening in the background. You can start to create your, your um, projects. So I'm simply gonna drag this into a new item, created this new sequence. So the next thing you wanna do now is to basically customize your program panel here so that you have the proxy 
toggle switch on and the way you do that you simply come to this plus sign here and then you this is the new toggle proxies button so all you have to do is just drag it into this area here click OK and then it's constantly on so when you do that when the blue is on that means this file here is when you play that back this is now playing the proxy and because the proxy is a very small file so ND16 it will play manual it will play ND smoothly as opposed to if that was off for example ND16 that would manual. be a really a jerky kind of playback so toggle the proxies on and all of this again this is happening in the background so this file is already finished um, encoding this is already a proxy the second file is there so the process goes quite quickly and you don't even have to wait for it you can carry on editing you know whilst the proxies are happening at the same time but I just want to um, maybe pause uh, the video for now and wait until all three are fully actually no let, let me not wait what I'll do is in the source in the source monitor here you can do exactly the same thing you know um, click this button editor bring the toggle proxies button on there so even in the source monitor you can play back the proxies in real time so ND16, ND16 manual so that really is a, a, a cool cool addition here so um, let's see how far we're doing here almost done um, so it's really a really quick process I'll just pause recording for now okay so all the three proxies have been fully encoded so now you can do as much editing as you wish with no lagging of a playback issue um, so if you you know were using a computer maybe which was struggling to handle 4k and you you want to use this method this is absolutely going to change the way I, I'm editing 4k video and remember you can even use this for footage as as, as, as massive as the red uh, epic red 8k uh, footage no problem you can create a um, proxy such as a 1280 by 720p and edit it in real time and what's cool about this is you can do all changes that you want for example let's say you want to do color grading all you have to do because color grading is much better to do it in the native file in the original file so all you have to do is toggle this switch and now you are in the you are editing the original and if you want to check that if I just do a right click here reveal in finder you see this is the file that's been that is being linked so this file is 256.6 megabytes but if I toggle the proxy on like that and I do exactly the same thing reveal in finder and now it's linked to the proxy which is only 46.5 megabytes this is beautiful fantastic it's gonna definitely help um, in the process so the last thing I want to say about this is when it comes to exporting everything is going to be rendered in full resolution so you don't have to worry it doesn't render proxies at all and you also another thing if you've got footage that is already in your previous projects you can always right click and there's now a new proxy feature where you can create proxies if you haven't already created them during your ingest process or even attach proxies and the way you can check if a proxy is attached or not is all you have to do is in this project panel let's go full screen so you see it's got all these um, descriptions of, of your media um, you can choose to display the metadata here and let's look for uh, proxy if you add that on so now we have a descriptor called proxy and if I just maybe bring it right there so now you can see that these these three media files all have an attached proxy so it's a quick way to check the status of um, all your all your media so if you had media here that you wasn't attached you can just right click proxy create a proxy attach a proxy which is what we've just seen now or reconnect full resolution media this is this could be if your full resolution media is on a different drive and you were editing 
proxies maybe in, in a different location or whatever when you come back to, to to reconnect that drive with your full resolution media you have to you, all you do is click this to reconnect so again really really cool this is a workflow that i'm definitely going to be using so that's one of the exciting features about this new um adobe premiere pro 2015 cc hope you find this useful Thank you.